Hi guys, welcome to the second video of Take It Easy VBA. So in this series, we want to make it as easy as possible, as painless as possible, in fact. For people who are not, uh, for us who are not uh, so familiar with coding, to learn a bit of VBA. So I just want to make this like a fun exercise. It's not going to be a crash course, but it's something to, you know, try and inspire uh, all of us to learn, our, learn on our own. And hopefully, we won't find coding that much of a pain. Now that's the ultimate objective of this video series. So, let's continue with our next step. So yeah, in the last video, <coughs> we've actually talked about a little <coughs> on how to activate the developer, the, the developer tab, as well as, uh, you know, save this uh, XLSM file, it's an Excel uh, macro enabled workbook. And in this video, we just want to talk about recording some macros. So what do you have to do? Well, you have to click on the developer tab uh, we have enabled previously. Okay, so I clicked a few times on that developer tab just to emphasize where it is. And now, the first thing we want to do is to record our macro. So what is recording a macro? Well, what it basically does is that it keeps a record of all everything you have typed or done in this Excel workbook and it writes it in a code form. It records it as a code form so that when you press play it's going to execute the exact same actions that you have previously done before. So let's just name this my first macro. Now just a note for you guys <coughs> Excuse me. Just a note for you guys, when you name uh, your macros, you cannot use uh, the space bar. You have to use underscore because, well, some the file name just won't save. Okay? So, you'll just name it my first macro, so because we, uh, because we are like experimenting with stuff, and we won't be doing much more than that. So, after that, just press OK, and you'll notice that at the bottom, there is a macro currently recording. So. When I press this stop button, it will stop my calling. So let's do just a few things first. First, I'm going to select the cell A1 to C1. I'm just going to let it go. I'm just going to select the cell 3A or A3 rather, B3 and C3. And then I'm going to select A5 B5 and C5. So, uh, if everything's working right, Excel should be recording all of these actions. So now I'm going to select uh, A7. I'm going to put 1. Okay, I'm going to press tap. B7, I'm going to press 2. And C7, I'm going to press 3. And then I'll stop. It's a rather simple uh, code process. But let's take a look at the macros. So when you're done recording, at the bottom left hand corner, I'll just press stop. And when I press stop, uh, it should say no macros are currently recording. And it says click to begin recording a new macro, which we don't really need to do. So now, what we want to do is we check our macros tab. And we see my first macro. Okay, so what do we want to do? We want to edit this. We don't want to run it yet, we just want to edit to see the code. Okay, so what happens here? Now, it looks like in this macro, we'll see this thing called sub, my first macro. So this is the macro name, and this is uh, a little bit of uh, the code in green color, and this is the end sub. So what is this sub actually? This sub is just like somewhere to help you indicate where the code of the VBA is starting. And this end sub is where the code of the VBA tends to end. And what do we see in our code? The first line where I'm selecting, it says range A7. It says range A7 select active cell formula, A, uh, formula R1C1 equals 1 and it says b7 select 
active cell formula R1C1 equals 2 and it says range <coughs> C7 select active cell formula R1C1 equals 3 and it says range D7 select okay so what does that tell us well if you're not so sure yet I mean you can guess by now but by saying of course it says range A7 select so it kind of only records the A7 when I selected A7 and I pressed 1 so when it selects and then it says this active cell R1C1 equals 1 so that's what the 1 here is for so you can kind of guess from all these codes that what they're trying to do now before I go on further explaining what all these are I uh, just wanted you to take a look at where you can find your Excel codes from and you can start to learn to code from there by, you know, uh, recording macros and then you see how Excel actually normally runs those codes or records those codes. So let's just close this for a while and let's just delete everything to test if our macro actually works. So let's look at macros. Okay, so this time we will just want to test. We are just experimenting around with it and we see my first macro and we just press run. When I press run, the 1, 2, 3 uh, will appear at the row 7. So that's just uh, a little insight for you to you know, record and play macros as well as to see uh, where the code is coming from. So you can press edit and there you go. Okay? Hope this, uh, hope this uh, video wasn't too painful on your eyes because uh, some people find coding absolutely annoying and irritating. Okay, so I mean that's basically it. That's all I want to teach you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.